Good evening, friends. Let us solve some reasoning problems from SPPO mains 2018 paper. Right. This question, it's a little long question, but this is a straightforward question. We just need little patience here. And these are few short questions. Five marks, we should directly get out of this. All five questions we can directly solve. Right. Let's see this. There is a three by five matrix which can produce signals, which in turn help in the elimination of some bulbs. The rows of the matrix are denoted by at the rate percent and hash from bottom to top. At the rate percent hash. We have doing written like this. Okay. And the columns are denoted by the alphabets A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E from left to right, from left to right, right. At the rate row contains numbers which are consecutive multiples of 7 starting from 28, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, consecutive multiples of 7. Percent row contains numbers which are consecutive multiples of 11 starting from 11. Percent is 11, 22, 33, 44, 55. Hash row contains numbers which are consecutive multiples of 13 starting from 13. Hash is 13. 26, 39, 52, 65. The matrix helps in producing signals which can either be a single string of numbers or two line strings x and y. X, x and y. There are four lights P, Q, R, S based on the based on the outcome of the strings mentioned above. One of the lights blinks. Right, whatever are the strings, then some of the lights blinks. If the outcome is below 85, then P 85 to 110 Q, 110 to 111 to 210 R. Greater than 210, S blinks. Very good. If the string has all even numbers, then outcome of the string is obtained by adding all the numbers. All if the if a string has three, four even numbers, then we have to sum all the four even numbers. If an odd number is followed by even number, then the ones place of all two digit numbers are deleted and tens place are multiplied to get the outcome. Very good. If the string contains two prime numbers. Two prime numbers, then the tenth place is deleted from each of the two digit numbers, and remaining numbers are multiplied. Numbers are multiplied. If no above logic is followed, then simple outcome is addition of the numbers. Very good. So here is given a string. String is percent C, sorry, hash C, percent D, hash A, percent hash E. What is hash C? Hash is 39. Percent D. Percent D is 44. 39, 44. Hash A. Hash A is 13. 13. Hash E. Hash E is 65. 39, 44. 13 and 65. And what will happen in this case? 39 is odd number. So if all strings are numbers, first song is wrong. Odd number is followed by even number. Right. 39 and 44. Odd number is followed by even number. Right. Odd number is followed by a number. What we have to do? Once place of all the two digit numbers are deleted and tens place are multiplied. Once we have to delete, that means 9, 4, 3, 5, we have to delete. Tens we have to multiply. 3 into 4 into 1 into 6. 3, 4 is 12. 12 into 6, 72. 72 means what? It is in this range, less than 85. So P will blink. P is the correct answer. Which bulb will blink? x equal to at the rate a. What is at the rate a? 28, 28. At the rate c. At the rate c is 42, 42. Hash d. Hash d is what? 52. Percent b. Percent b is 22. Very good. Then what we have to do? Which one? These are all even. All even means first one. First one means we have to sum 28 plus 42 plus 52 plus 22. The sum is actually 144. What does 144 mean? Number three outcome, right? So R will blink. Next, hash A. Hash A is 13. Percent E. Percent E is 6, 55. 13, 55. Percent A. Percent A is 11. At the rate B. At the rate B is 35. 35. Now, what is this? Which condition is this? 13, 55, 11, and 35. All are odd numbers, but two are prime numbers. String contains two prime numbers, then this is the third condition should apply. Tens are deleted and units are multiplied. So that means 3 into 5 into 1 into 5. 3 into 5 into 1 into 5, 75. 5 is 25 into 3, 75. Right. So 75. 75 is again below 85, so P will blink again. Next. 
at the rate a that is second sorry at the rate at the rate a 28 hash b hash b is 26 at the rate d at the rate d is 49 then percent c what is percent c percent c is 33 right so 28 26 49 33 it's it is not all even odd number followed be even this is also wrong two prime numbers is also wrong so only the fourth one fourth condition will be followed this plus this plus this plus this the sum is 136 136 means it is in this range condition 3 so r will blink at the rate e what is at the rate e 56 hash d hash d is 52 at the rate d at the rate d is 49 hash e hash e is 65. So what is which condition is this? 2 even, then 2 odd, no prime, right? So not all even. It is not odd followed be even. It is not two prime numbers. So it is sum of all. Condition 4. Condition 4 sum of all is this 222. This is actually greater than 210. So S will blink. So this is a straightforward problem. It doesn't take much time also. We just need to be very careful in calculating these outcomes. Right. This kind of problems are very straightforward and we just need to be able to create this, create this kind of matrix and be able to religiously or diligently follow the instructions. There is nothing special here in this kind of problems. The only thing is we have to be careful. We, we should not be worried just by looking at the problem because the problem looks long. But in reality, it is very easy problem. Right. This is one of the easiest problems in SBPO 2018 means. Yesterday we had discussed this kind of problem. This problem is actually a tough problem. This kind of circular seating arrangement where uh, variable uh, distances, right, 546 centimeters and he, he, he did not even mention in yesterday's problem. How many people were sitting around the circular table, right? We have to derive that it should be 13 people and, uh, and then there are multiple uh, combinations were possible for uh, uh, off-seating uh, arrangements in this problem. This is actually a pretty hard problem, for the, but for the same marks. This takes easily takes uh, 20 to 30 minutes, uh, but this one, you can actually do it in within, within under 5 minutes also. Right, so these kind of problems we should not miss. Next one, let's look at the next problem. This is also a very simple problem. P hash Q means P is south of Q, right? P is below Q. P at the rate Q means P is north of Q. At the rate Q means P is north of Q. P and Q means P is east of Q. Okay, P and Q means P is east of Q. P dollar Q means P is west. P is dollar Q means P is west of Q. P pound QS means P is at the midpoint of QS. Q and S, P is the midpoint. Car honks once. When it is given that the car honks once, it will be considered as car takes has taken a left turn. One honk means left turn. Twice means two honks means right turn. Okay, two honks means right turn. Very good. Now let's again start. Point S is and 15. What is and 15? And 15. S is and 15 of B. S and 15 of B. S is what does that mean? S is right of B. Right, see here, S and B means S is right of B, S and B, S is right of B, S is 15 minutes right of, 15 meters right of B, S is 15 meters right of B, we start with B, then S, right, J is 33 meters at the rate 33 of S, at the rate 33, at the rate 33, J, S, that means J is above S. J is above S 33 meters, which is S. J is above S, which is 33 meters. K is 25 meters above. At the rate means above. Right. At the rate means above. At the rate means above. K at the rate B. K at the rate means K above B, which is 25. K above B, which is 25. L is dollar K. L is dollar K. L is L dollar K. L dollar K means L is left of K. L is left of K, which is 20. Q hash L. Q hash L. 
L. That means Q is below L. Q hash L. Right, P hash Q. That means P is below Q. Q hash L. That means Q is below L. Q is below L. How much? 40. Very good, 40. F and Q. F and Q. F and Q. F and Q. That means F is right of Q. F and F and Q means F is right of Q. F is 40 means right of Q. F is 40 right of Q. E pound DF. That means E pound DF means E is midpoint of DF. Right. E is midpoint of DF. So, and uh, before that we have to find what is D. D at the rate F. Yeah. D at the rate F. That means D is above F. P at the rate Q means P is above Q. D at the rate F. That means D is above F. 30. D is above F. 30. And E is midpoint of D and F. So, 15 and 15. So, this is the diagram. This is the overall diagram. What we started? We started with B. We started with S, B and S. Then this is given. Then BK, LK, uh, QL, F, this thing. The whatever uh, amount C has given, we have written. Whatever meters. What distance the car has to travel from point D to reach the airplane which is parked at point J? This is J. S to J is 33. Right. So obviously what he is meaning is, is not uh, meaning in this direction. He is moving his meaning only in rectangular directions. So, so we have to reach from D to some midpoint of uh, some point of J to S and then take the right turn only. Here he is, he is not talking about different angles. He is talking about only right angles here. Right. So, so if L K is 20 and B S is 15, total L from here to here, it is 35. That means here to here, here the, this line to this line will be 5. So D has to travel some 5 to 5 towards, towards left, right, to reach this J S. When it travels uh, 5, this is one part of the travel. The other part of travel, whatever this amount. What is that amount? D to F. D to F. This is actually 30. Right. This is actually 30. But see here, this is 25. This is total 40. That means this is also 15. Right. This is 25. This is, this is again 15. This is again 15. So this is again 15. And the total, this is again 15. And this is again 15. Right. So basically S and E are exactly at the same line. S and E are exactly at the same line. That means this is again D when D reaches this line, this is exactly this point. This this part will exactly be 15. What does that mean? 33 minus 15 is this part of the distance. Right. So it has to take a right turn and travel for 33 minus 15. So for D, it has to go left and travel for 5 and then 33 minus 15, 33 to this 33 minus this 15, that is 18. 18, it has to take right and reach J. So 5 plus 33 minus 15, 23, that is the correct answer. What could be the possible shortest route to reach point K from point J? K from J. What is one way? One way is go left and uh, take left, right? Go to the west and then down or go south and west. Those are the only two ways, right? The shortest. Either. Shortest is either this way and this way or either this way and this way. Now let's look at the options. So starting east is anyway useless. Either starting west or starting south. These are the only two ways. Now he is talking about honks also. Honks. What is honks? Honking is one honk is left hand. Basically, if there is some, if he has gone west and then again one left turn, then that is sufficient. Basically, he has to, the, the west part is actually 15, right? We know this is 15 and this one is again 33 minus 25. This is already 25. So, 33 minus 25. So, this part is 8. This part is 15. This part is 8. This part is 15. Eight. This part is 8. Either he travels 15 first or he should travel 8 first. Okay, let's see. So, started in west 15, then honk twice. Honk twice is taking right turn. So, this is useless. If there is something else, let's see. Start west 15 kilometers, honks once, cover 8. So, this is fine. Right. Honk once means again take a left turn. So, 15 towards west and then
and then uh, 15 honk once and cover 8 kilometers. Right, next one. Point D is in which direction from point Q? Where is D? D. And where is Q? Q is here. It is northeast. D is north, northeast. Right. Here in this direction, where is northeast? East is and P is P is and means east, right? And uh, P is north means uh, P is north of the direction is at the rate and and right. We have to we have to take these two directions, right? So at the rate and and this is the correct answer. Next U is hash fifteen meters of point B. Hash means what? Hash means U P hash Q means P is below Q. U hash B means U is below B. U is below B. How many meters? U is below B 15 meters. Right, 15 meters on point B. 15 meters means exactly on this line. Because this B, S and E are all on the same line. U will be exactly here. You will be touching this Q, F here at exactly 15. Right, at, at this point, at this point it will touch. That means U will actually be midpoint of Q and F also. Right, because this part is 20, so this part will also be 20, you will be touching here. So what is he saying? No, you will be here. So uh, so you will be 20 meters left of F then. Right, so what is the position U with respect to F? What is with respect to F? 20 meters left of F. What is left? Left is dollar. U is 20 dollar of F. Right. U is 20 dollar of F. Right. Point E is in which direction from point B? E and B, they are exactly, E and B are on the same line and E is exactly right. What is right? P and Q. That means P is right of Q and is the correct answer. And is the correct answer. Right? So these questions are really easy questions. They, we, we are given some kind of input and we have to calculate some outputs or some instructions are given. We, ne we just need to be very careful in calculating uh, given instructions. This won't take a lot of time. These are simple straightforward questions. We should not lose marks here. We'll take up more complex questions in the next uh, seating arrangement questions in the next lesson. In the next uh, next session. So this this question, as we PO 2018 means, this is actually a, a good problem. This is a problem solving and uh, seating arrangement. It's not seating arrangement. It's a problem solving problem, right? This one, uh, this is also kind of problem solving, and uh, this is also another problem solving. This is also another problem solving. So basically, in 2018 paper, we have got out of 35 questions. Around uh, 25 to 30 questions are problem solving questions only. And uh, and some of them are actually really complex. We'll pick this up in the next class. Thank you guys. All the best.